to staff room. I'm head of sociology here at QPCS. Uh, we do it at GCSE and at A level. You don't need to do it at GCSE to do well at A level. Indeed, many people who do really well at A level haven't done it at GCSE. But this is what it's about. At A level, we'll look at this very complicated society we live in. London uh, is a very diverse culture, way of life, full of all sorts of different individuals and groups. And this subject unpicks this. Um, and all of these people are individuals that make up a society. So we have to look at individuals and how we build up our own sense of identity, who we are. And they're related to all of these points. I'm sure you'll recognize all these different things feed into who, uh, into what makes you who you are. And how we interact with each other, that's what makes society. And that's what the subject's about. But we need to get data out of society. We don't make it up. We're not journalists. So we have to use all sorts of different methods. And we understand those different methods and how we get different samples and different approaches. Are we scientific about it? Are we touchy-feely about it? Do we think the world is like a closed system, like an experiment, that we can lock down the variables? Or is it too open and variable that we just have to live it and understand the truth of what it is to be human? Um, so we'll explore that methodology. We'll also look at um, an area of life you know very well, that's education. You're in it. We'll talk about processes and concepts and examples and patterns and trends and things that happen that you will recognize and difference in the same. And you'll understand why different people do well and uh, have completely different experiences at school for school reasons inside school and outside school. You're also going to learn that Everything in society is viewed in different ways by different people. We call this a perspective. Duck rabbit, consensus, conflict. We all look at things in different ways. We can see some people see huge structural forces in society that make us, that control us, that hem us in. Whereas other people think, well, society is not like that. Actually, it's the way we interact. It's the way we interpret different symbols. It's our social actions. And that's what makes society. And we'll explore this stuff in, in our theory and perspectives. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so we will do an AS. That's a great thing to do. So at the end of the first year, you walk away with an AS. But we hope you go through to A-level because that's a meaningful grade that the universities are looking for. You have two teachers. You'll have two teachers. It'll last for two years. At the end of year 12, you get two public examinations. At the end of year th 13, you get three examinations. Uh, if you've got a sociology A level and you go on to uni or you go and do an apprenticeship, it's going to be useful because wherever you end up in the world of work to understand the human condition, what it is to be an individual and to connect with other individuals and groups of individuals within different cultures and different settings. If you have that knowledge and understanding about how humans interact with the, the marketplace, with products, with the environment, any job that's to do with people will find sociology, your knowledge of sociology will be useful to you and attractive to any employer. If you've got any questions, um, please email me. My email address is d o d o n e l at qpcs.brent.sch.uk.